this series. A switch up for quite a few different agents as the sky goes missing on their side. And well, we know that Vivo keep the like this more puggy start. These individual players looking to try and pop off. And this time it's Joe finding a couple. But again, it always seems to swing back into these two versus two. The overhealed. Mur is in a pretty good spot to try and find something here. Slightly whip, but he gets one anyway. And now it's left onto those in-game leaders facing off for who has the biggest brain, who can bring home this round. And Joe, he's in the spot to hold it, and he's gonna find the headshot to close. Three kills in the pistol. And the potential is there. For sure. It's just maybe too soon for such a young squad. And this is a an important map. We sort of highlighted that as we were going into the halftime with the desk. Yeah. It's just Breeze is going to be pivotal to whatever teams want to do well oh. in this tournament. And Cned, well, he's happy to so keep on farming through. <laughs> Cned has just put them in the ground left. again. 4K in the last round, looking to at least try and match up into this one. He has yeah, finally been able to shut him out. This squad. It's not like the big names from CS. Those have the big Twitch followings to be brought in for various reasons, other than, of course, just being good enough to play professionally. Here. These are some of the diamonds in the rough. Well, this round at least, pistols and the two safe guns from the last, but it's already kicked off in a, at least a pretty solid way. He is gonna find that kill onto Zeke. A lot of that information will be quelled, but more so it might give them that little bit of extra space. And I think Bone Cole realizes it already, looking to try and even up the tide, timing oh, everything, lovely. but the headshot angle is perfect. And he's not gonna overfight that. He they can. Just because like you lose that KO, like you only have the intel information mm. with those utility. Like he has the recon out ready, didn't want to use it there because he didn't want to give up the nice sneak up. And Kiles, he's prepared, just anchoring onto this site. Obviously, he can get information himself, but not to the same level as Silva. And that gap has been exploited from Murray's, but luckily, because Bone Cold did back out, he maintains the trade. Well, they're committing a lot into this round. The Viper's Pit will go through to give them that little bit of extra space, deny the aggression, and more so Heat is looking to try and play around the other side. Now, if he falls, this becomes a little bit more difficult. And actually, they really want to hunt him down, forcing him to dash out of position, at least clearing that right-hand side. And with Joe dropping, this becomes a little bit tougher. Now, Vixen's desperately low on HP, and he's kind of got stuck in his own ultimate. It's going to be left all on to Heat. Now, at least the pit will be dropped. He survives on one HP, but Bone Cold continues from his early aggression and closes it. 3-2 to round. two in favor of Ascend. Just from yes, start over. to finish again, just not using utility to go for some Koi plays to catch Viva Keed on the... It's awkward, though, because they're both towards mid and B. So retaking with two hops, it was already hard I enough with one at this point. I think another big thing is going to be Vixen surviving. It's a nice toxic screen. It's very default with what you expect, but it means that utility has to be sort of thrown out. They really wanted uh -oh. to put Murray's under pressure. Oh, and it's, it's even the operator that gets the kill in the end. Nice shock that snake bite combination and the fragment catching him on the get go, okay. but still Viva Kida holding on. Zeke trades things back though. Both players isolated within the cave. They need to try and find a way to push out and instead Zeke's looking to push in. He's got Bone Cold spamming through and although MW0, he has a chance Whoa! here! He's gonna get all three! Again this oh, man and the multi frags will pull through the Red Bull clutch! And Vivo Keyed have the just going walking in. They're trying to sell this as if it's an identical take. That's the plan. Go moving in directly through. And although killers will look at the rotation, they've already pulled players away and left it. Well, I was going to say just onto CNET, but CNET's there. Yeah, Kilos does well to get the kill, takes a peek as well with all of that utility being thrown through. Gets that information, but now it's a, a nice double bait. Starzo looks away at the worst possible time when it comes to that double doors control, and because of that bone cold, isn't really expecting somebody to be right in his face. Kiles is on this side, he's got a lot to deal with. Doesn't get anything for it. CNED has at least I know dropped exactly where. the Clutch King from the last, and the Starzo in the game. trying to put through a little bit of utility to deny them. Hasn't actually worked out. But they've cleared a lot of these close angles. This round definitely isn't done. And by the looks of it, it's going to be the cave after plant that's set up now for that attacking side. A single snake bite remains if they want to attempt it. 
And realistically, Starzo can actually just walk past this utility. Instead, he decides to shoot it, use that Viper's Pit, and they're not going to kill him off before it pops. This makes things a little bit awkward, but with Heat close up, he might be able to just kill them off before they go for any sort of defusal. Uh. They don't expect him to be this close, and it's left onto scene. And first shot landed, but the time is oh. ticking, and it doesn't seem like there's any chance in hell he'll be able to hold on this time. Four to three in favor of V. It's safer than maybe it is. Yeah, Starzo is also so, on such an aggressive fighting position. Again, just a poison cloud in that spot. I mean, it works. It catches Vixen on the way out. Not really an angle that you expect a Viper to be playing from. It's not quite ratty. It's out in the open. And Starzo, that's the kind of, even from his personality, he's that good at it. Now it's just a full rotation coming in. Then the no command. Now suppressing abilities, but it's not really affecting Joe. And on that Cypher, he can maybe face a little bit more. This is starting to fall apart, but Zeke finally steps up to the plate. He is still landing shots, though. Lightning fast reactions, putting this into a two versus two. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. Got to try and clear out Zeke. And, well, the Blaze Storm going to be popped. They want to try and isolate this duel. The timing going to be everything, and Heat lands the shot even while slightly blind. Bone cold again. It is left into this 1v2. They are planting in the spot for Heat to just hold the angle. To clear this out is going to be incredibly difficult. And MW0, I think, has already spotted him. Just trying to bait him in. Maybe not expecting anybody to just be holding this cross. He gets the information and the tag through. But he, again, connects. Even on low HP, this man pulls off four kills. And Vivo Keed had to want to be running Riot with this side of the half. And I imagine this KO is very much going to come online on the attack. But so far in the defense, it's left a lot to be desired. Oh, the pace change. They want to go walking straight into CNED's lair. The operator in hand already dropping one. Oh, they've actually got the Hunter's Fury trying to do some damage, but not really finding anything from it. It's at least forced them back. But as said, I think these mid rounds have looked a lot better on this map in particular from Vivo Key. They're going to slow it down. And there is a fairly aggressive spot from Killers that they do have to watch out for. He'll have heard the footsteps, the flash is solid, and he is gone. Killers just holding on to this column position. Toxic screen actually being used to more control at A site. Really, the retake positions that Ascend have been in have been out. such down to a play a disadvantage that you know, it's not really useful to, to hold on to those toxic screens for those moments. So I do like the fact that Stazo is changing it up a little more. Utility in various places, more anchoring towards A. And that's just because CNET is getting so much success with this operator. Oh! You can make it oh, far with the, come on. the Raycon Dark coming in nicely. Vixen is the last cell that's going to be fired in onto B. It was a site that was held loosely for Vivo Keed. And just as we were sort of saying, mid control on the attack of Viva Key, they didn't really go elbow at all on the attack, but that's where they went instantly on the defense. Maybe a hard read, but whatever it is, it's still worked out for Ascend. The timing for MW0, though, couldn't have been any better. He's brought things back into a 3v3 and looks to move over to his teammates. The peak from CNED is also going to be dropped. Joe, he was quiet individually, but he's now coming up big for his squad once again. It's left on to Zeke. I believe he might even have to ace it just to take this one home. And it is not happening. A three versus four to a three versus zero. Vivo Keen end up dominating the pistol. It's the trades, it's the spacing. You would have just assumed on how cleanly Ascend broke into the site. A couple of those situations, players looking in various different directions and not trading off each other. It's a scramble, and that's not a good look from Ascent. Enemy oh, here is that blaze storm. Aggressive peek out. He not quite managing to escape. So at least the start that was wanted. Spam through. There was an attempt. There was. It's not going to really achieve anything at all. And again, still a few extra pieces in this round for Vivo Keith. They've got themselves the Bulldog. A little bit of range added into what is mostly Spectres. They're very scared of like this elbow tunnel position on B though. And the zero point is about to come online for Zeke. He's not that far away from having a null command to be fair, but all of these players pushing for double door. Hold it, see if they can catch a player on switch. I like the idea from Vixen. Just peek out, try and catch them whilst they're not looking, but it's a bit more tight to play from Bone Cold. Oh, if you say that, he's about to lose his life. Well, eventually, Killers will be there with the trade, but this round is still not over. A two versus three. Any more kills than this, and Spike planted. it's far more costly than they would have liked, and almost caught switching to the rifle, but hey, the rifle's been collected. Still having a couple of orbs available to actually heal and dismiss. Muris could take this one into his own hands. Now the afterplant 
Looking decent already. Utility not going to play a part in this one, really, for the side of Ascend. It's more just those individual battles, the team play, the synergy, the crossfires, and while well, just waiting on the other side, it should have been an easy kill. Eventually, will come through as Ascend are back on the board with a fifth, but we know that there's a buy coming. Removing the dash, but he has managed to reposition just off the edge of it. Still going to be caught and actually just take Zeke down straight away, of course. Opportunity to get rest, but never mind. Already the headshot coming through. Joe desperately wanting to add to his kill tally as he's just spamming through and eventually they will kill him off. Nothing more for Zeke in this round, but he might have done enough trying to spot people early on the edge with the dismiss. But they have to watch out. There's a flank coming in. Killers could end this round in its tracks, but they're getting aggressive enough that they might be able to kill a few of the players before they come through. Vixen will land the shot as they wrap back around and leave this now onto just two players. The flanker, but more importantly, Cnet. He's the one with the angle onto the spike, and he gets absolutely nothing. Just one player down, leaving it all onto Killers. He finds the burn, but he cannot close out Mures. Who ends this round with a triple? It's the fact that Viva keyed as well. That Viper's Pit goes down on the CNED. Having something at least a little bit extra, but hiding in this corner is not going to be checked. It's a freebie. And now he can just back away wary just in case someone's going to try and peek up and trade him out. But he'll escape before anyone will be able to respond. It was also just a 50-50 decision making a recon that was in the hands of Bone Cold to try and clear him, but they decided against it. Like in these scenarios, they're not sure what they want to do. Protocols have been better, and now Muris can sort of go to town with mid control. Starzo lurking late, even if he gets pretty far, there is a tripwire to stop him. Joe, playing in this switch spot, kind of knows it. Go away! <laughs> Not today, thank you. Starzo well, being literally shut out of this round. Shock darts to weaken him up. It's been a, looking a lot more disjointed in this map from Asen, but the fact is Vivo Keed have isolated those individual duels and they have won the majority of them. With two players remaining, it's forced into a save and realistically, it's going to have to be a seven round streak for Asen. Otherwise, we are going to see the Brazilian team head into that upper bracket match. And across like Vivo Keed in this series, the mechanical skill is there, the firepower, we knew it would be, but just the team play, just the ideas, the defaults, the executes, the post plans, everything is a lot sharper. Now this looks like a Brazilian super team. Yeah, this is what we've been waiting for. And while Starzo, there's no escape. Every gun removed. Talking about, but the topic of discussion probably coming up a bit earlier than Ascent were expected. And Joe is under a lot of pressure. <laughs> I think Ascent have it most. Joe is actually not afraid at all. He's got Cena with a plan. I think Cena's only had two or three kills on this attack inside so far. It may not matter. It's already going to be the clear out heat going in, but it's Bone Cold is bringing things back. Three kills to save them. Keep them in this map at least as Killers exactly drops Vixen. Are. It's left onto this new man on the block, the Loney that is quickly making a name for himself, but not in this round. Zeke will put him in the grave. At least a little bit of information. They look to try and burst into this A-side, but actually it's only Zeke. Everybody else just waiting back behind, looking to try and push in alongside, and the flash is good, and he eventually, it's a labored spray, but he gets the kill nonetheless. The spike yet to cross. So still not directly committed, but with two players already in, you'd expect them to make their way through, just waiting for the screen to be recharged. But look at this wraparound through mid. Spike planted. They also still have a bit of utility to throw in to try and catch them off. Maris is under a bit of spray. Vixen trading out seen it. So again, it's this high line. Kiles managed to slip through. You need these kind of moments. And now what's Viva Keats by like? Yeah, this is where they start to suffer a little bit. I, I will still say if the scene, it's been so high tempo. Yeah, I, I assume this is going to be fast as well. The fact that Starzo has the operator means that CNED's probably about to just launch himself straight into the site and look to put the pressure onto Joe, and he's already gone. So much utility just forcing them back, although there is a trade. The Hunter's Fury actually finding a couple of attacks here and there. He has managed to get another one, and this leaves Zeke isolated on the site. The remaining couple of players just trying to hold from the back lines. It the wrap around from Bone Cold could be absolutely everything. Yeah, that elbow control is going to be so important, but they really need to help out Zeke in this situation. There's an important kill for Bone Cold. Zeke is still holding on, but he is putting up the pressure. He's starting to try and cook the KO alive, but Mira is actually getting behind. Zeke 
one more. A two versus two scenario, and they have to clear this man from the flank. It's left all on to Zeke to try and close this one out, but it isn't going to be happening. It is Vivo Keed that head through it to the upper bracket.